The Grey Room is located in the heart of Chillingham Castle, accessed by two flights of winding stairs. There, a fine Elizabethan long gallery will greet you, with its timbered ceiling and magnificently carved chimney piece over a wood-burning stove. The room has superb views of the ornate gardens below. The name of the room is taken from the Grey family, a bloodline that has had the seat at Chillingham Castle for many centuries. Although no ghosts are specifically linked to the Grey Room, many a visitor has reported strange eerie feelings, as if being watched or sometimes touched by unseen hands. A troubled soul worthy of a mention is the spirit of Lady Berkeley. The rustle of her dress is sometimes heard as her invisible revenant sweeps the rambling corridors and staircases in search of her long-gone husband, Lord Grey, leaving a cold chill in her ghostly wake. Welcome to the Grey Room. This is um, actually an Elizabethan era room. It's always been somewhere that people have lived in. And uh, even today, you know, we, we, we have guests that come, as you know. Um, some of the family paintings are quite interesting. Behind you there, we've got a painting of Lady Mary Grey. Now, she's one of the better known spirits here at the castle. She actually lived here and she was married to that chap over there called Ford Grey. He eventually became Prime Minister of England. Now, it's a bit of a sad tale, but Ford Grey ran off with Lady Mary's younger sister. And there was a very, very bitter divorce that went through the courts. And uh, a, lot of, a lot of sort of anger and emotion there. And it's, it, it, so we're told Lady Mary died of a broken heart in 1719 as a result of that. So is she happy, is she unhappy? I don't know, we might find out later tonight if we get to meet her. But uh, one of the better known spirits, and of course she's associated with the smell of roses. Quite often people will, will smell roses as they walk about the castle and we say, well, that's Lady Mary going for a wander. This is the main bedroom of the great apartment. And these, I think, are family portraits, great family portraits. Now people that stay in these rooms quite often report to us that they have experiences in here. And I do know one lady, uh, she talked to me because she was on one of the ghost events that I did and she'd stayed in here the night before. And she'd got up about three o'clock in the morning to go to the loo. And when she came back into the room, the bed had been completely made and all, all the pillows plumped up ready for her. Um, other folks have come in here and um, when they've woken up in the morning they've, they've told me about sort of uh, drawers being open and cabinet doors being wide open and some people have talked about the cabinet doors banging things like that. There was one lady as well um, she was staying here with a friend two ladies in here and they, they saw the bed depressed like someone was someone's weight was sitting on it one of the other things that happens in this room, as well as other parts of the castle, is that Lady Mary, um, the lady in the painting, sometimes can, can wander through, and we know she's been through because we can smell the smell of roses. And uh, when she was alive, she used to carry a pomander full of rose petals everywhere she went. And I've actually experienced that um, in other parts of the castle, where, where we've had this cold sort of breath of wind go through, and then, you know, you can smell a really pungent smell of roses but people have said they've actually seen the image of Lady Mary coming out of the 
out of the frame of the picture and into the apartment. Although I've never actually seen that personally myself, but several people have talked about that. How you doing guys? It's Griff. We're currently in the grey rooms. Some of the most haunted rooms in all of Chillingham Castle. Now, I'm hoping they are that haunted because I want to get to sleep tonight. Apparently these are the most haunted rooms in all of Chillingham. So these are called the grey rooms. And I have the privilege of investigating them on my own. And there's three. So I'm currently in nearly complete darkness. There seems to be a light on. Oh, it's a lamp. A lamp on in the main room. Now this is a picture. With the number three on backwards in a hand. Apparently that person is supposed to jump out of the picture and show herself to you. Oh no. To be fair, it's, it is pitch black. Yep, night vision. Night vision. So, this room is absolutely massive. Just for your front room, it's it's ridiculous. It's a it's a good place to stay. That's what I will say. But <coughs> I'm in here on my own, completely on my own. No one literally can hear me again. And let me just have a quick look. No one can hear me, and I'm in the dark. I've got the fire there though, which I, I'm not going to lie about the fires on. So, spirit, lady, lord, if you're there, force source, no. Lady, lord, if you're there, could you come and speak with me in this room, please? Could you come and say what your name is? Let's see if we can end this feud. I've been getting a funny feeling in my right testicle all night. And it feels like someone's trying to squeeze it or, you know, I don't know, break it or... It seems like you'd be a spirit. Because I've never had that feeling before. Is there any chance that if that spirit's with me, or they're holding on to me, you could do something significant in this room for me? Just knock on a wall. Some kind of knocking at the window there, or knocking at the door. Some kind of knocking at the window there. Some kind of knocking at the window there. So I'm in here in the dark all on my own and you are behind me. Is there any way that you could jump out of that picture and say hello? Amazing. I mean, I'm never going to turn around to you guys and lie about anything. But, in all honesty, 
It's creepy. Standing in such a large room. And and like hearing all these. Do you know if I hadn't have heard the stories and and the, the build up and and stuff like that, it'd just be another investigation. But because I've heard it all, my anticipation's like, oh god, I want that to happen. I really want that to happen. And here we are talking to paintings. Okay. I'm a big fan of what I've just heard. Hello? I says, and we are just talking to paintings. And I don't know if you guys would have heard it over the uh, fridge, but it sounded like someone sitting on a bed. Now, I'm going to turn the light on. And I'm going to walk down there because obviously I can't see without, without a light. There we go. We have got a locked off camera inside the room just in case anything does happen. Just in case anything decides to happen. But we are going to walk and make our way. Oh, I love that. I love that as well. Like a, it's like a circle fish eye thing so so i'll go into this room first the right hand room now like i said guys someone sound like someone's sitting on a bed so we're going to the furthest part of the room so we can get ready to call out i'll switch to night vision turn the light off it sounded like to me that someone sat on this bed. We're on the one next to it. Because there is two. But there is no indentations on there. There is nothing like that. I basically made my way around the apartment. I've come into the, the final room where I'm going to just call out again. Now remember, these are some of the most haunted places in Chillingham Castle. So it's just nice to be in here. And who says that? It's terrifying to be in here and um, hopefully no spirits come and talk to me. Will that work? Getting tired now. There are a few clicks and stuff of that around the building because obviously they've, they've tried to keep these rooms warm for us, as in the, the people that are staying over. So they're trying to keep them warm, so the radiator's clicking on. If it was paranormal, I'd tell you. I appreciate you trying. I appreciate your time. I've been in here quite long now. I feel like I've been touched on my neck and you know it's it's it is a little bit I suppose overwhelmed with with all the feelings and that but it's getting to three in the morning, half past three in the morning. And we have investigated this castle for a very long time. Tonight, I wish there was another night so we could carry on, we could see. So, if you are here with me and you have been listening to what I've been saying, is there any chance that you could just give me a big sound before I leave and fetch Stephen? Big sound. I've literally just jumped 
straight into my lone vigil inside the grey room at Chillingham Castle. This is meant to be the most haunted place in the entire castle. Many people have seen shadow figures, ghosts, activity, and all that other good stuff. The lady, um, there's, there's a picture of, I can't remember her name, sorry. Sorry all you hardcore Chillingham fans, but um, it's been a long day. The lady, this used to be her room, and this is apparently where she still resides. And, and to tell you the truth, man, it is a bit eerie. It's, it's, it's quite creepy. I mean, this entire tower, all on my own. There's no one else here. I'm here all in the dark. Um, Griff's got the fire going. It's actually pretty atmospheric, I must say. It's really nice. But yeah, I'm going to call Ed Spirit. I'm going to introduce myself. My name is Stephen. This is my first time inside Chillingham Castle and inside the Grey Room. We've heard so much about this place. We was told this was the most haunted spot in the entire grounds. Could you tell me your name? Can you give me any kind of indication that the lady of the house is still here? Could you even tell us your name? That'd be amazing. I'm standing in front of the portrait, or the picture, or whatever you want to call it, of the lady that haunts this place. We were told that you like to come out of the painting. I mean, that's very Vigo-esque from Ghostbuster 2. That's what he likes to do. And I'd absolutely love for something like that to happen. But don't worry, my expectations are in check. Big style. I do not expect that to happen in the slightest. Could you knock on the door? There was something um, behind me then. I just didn't feel comfortable. I felt quite anxious. I felt like there was something behind me. And I can't prove any of that because it's just a camera. It's a feeling. Are you there? Come and follow me into this room. We have a device here. You know you know what it is. There's plenty of ghost hunting teams come here. If you don't, you go close and you do that. You can use that. It's a communication tool, okay? I'm gonna sit at this table. And I'm gonna wait for you. I'm gonna wait and see if you can do something. Could you sit on the table where that black device is? I've just been sitting here listening out. It's quite peaceful.
Nothing scary's happened. Well, same. No, I felt like there was something down when I was walking down that corridor. But again, psychology plays a big role in in all this. You gotta remember, we are in the dark. Can't see nothing. You gotta remember we are in the dark, can't see nothing. You gotta remember we are in the dark, can't see nothing. Okay, I'm going back into the bedrooms. Okay, that was a bird. At least we got something whistling. Grey lady. Oh my god. There's a loud noise then through the hall, like where that door is, right behind me. Is that you? Do it again. If that was a spirit, make that noise again. Now there's no one in this building with me. I'm in this entire tower section all on my own. It was a loud bang. Don't know what it is. Point this going to look. Won't be able to find or see anything. I suppose everyone's going to go. Prove that there's no one there. All right, I'll prove it. There you go. I suppose. I'll be, I'll be told that um, I give him enough time to escape out of the building or to hide somewhere. Well, I'm, not, I'm not even saying that that noise was even paranormal. I mean, it could have been anything. It could have been the fridge popping. I, it weren't the fire. Turn that loud. Hopefully, this camera's picked it up. Um, can you even see anyone in the courtyard? No, man, them lights are off. It's pitch black. It's dark. Okay, I'm standing in the hallway. Make that noise again. We got a fridge. Was it the fridge? You just don't know. It could have been the fridge. <laughs> that is definitely the fridge, that noise. But I mean, was that popping noise the fridge? We'll be able to know, tell because we've got a camera right there, which is right next to the fridge. So we'll be able to hear the sound difference in volume and whatever. We're going to sit on this chair. 
and wife for you. That's small. And wait for you to appear by the side of the bed and to do your worst. Hello? There was a noise that come from right here. Look, the floorboard's going. Now, I'm, I'm sat in this chair, I'm not moving. Hello? What the fuck? You all right? It's literally coming from here. Do that noise again. Whoa. No one help people are gonna probably hire me for this. But I can't help you. Was the knocking vibration or whatever? It didn't it wouldn't didn't sound like that. He could have. I don't know. Was it just the wind? The wind blowing it? <clears throat> it's a possibility. I mean, let's face it. There is a wind there. The wind could have moved it. And it's caused that. So. That's what my logical mind is thinking. Believe me. I want it to be paranormal. I can't be sitting here going, it's paranormal when there could be a simple explanation as it's, it's just the window. It was fun though. <coughs> it got the heart pumping again. Did you get anything? I thought I heard some knocking, but I think it could have been the window. Well, I'll tell you something that I'll go. Go on. Which it sounded like it. So I was standing where about you was. Yeah. There, and I says, if anybody's here, whatever, blah, 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 you know, I see on. And then it sounded like someone sat down on the bed. Oh, did it? In one of the rooms. And I couldn't figure out which one it was. That's quite interesting. It was. There was one moment where I was walking through this passageway and it felt like there was something behind me. But you know what feelings are like? It doesn't prove nothing, does he? Could be psychological, but he did feel like there was something like coming behind me as I was walking in, and then I turned around. I was like, Ugh. you know, that was quite tense. But other than that, um, like I said, I heard some knocking. I was sitting on the chairs, and like where the window is, like in the corner, there was like two succession of like weird noises. And then I thought, there is a window there, and it could be the wind. Yeah. Which you know. You on logically. about that? You on about that window over there to the left? No, no, no. It's over here. If you could you come this way. In the the bed we're sharing here, this one. So I was sat on this chair, and the noises, the knocks came from that window. Okay. Well, the noises came from this area, I should say. I mean, I'm not 100% sure that it is the window, but that's the only logical explanation I can. I mean, it is quite solid, but anything could happen, couldn't it? Yeah. 
So it was that chair there. Yeah, I've seen on that chair, and then I heard the two noises from there. Um, and other than that, nothing. But like I said, we'll we'll carry on calling here. We'll carry on doing an investigation. We'll go back into the main, the main room. Yep. If you want. Oh yeah, there's something. I said I'd say to you. Go on. Um. There's something that I said that I'd say to you about. All right. About something touching my balls. <laughs> And I'm being serious, and people won't turn around and say, well, you must be joking. But honestly... I think it was the lady. I don't know who it was, but all I know is is that the, for about three or four times tonight, my right side of my balls warmed up, like, and I mean, like, someone's put a fire under it. <laughs> it's really weird. I've never had that feeling before. Just weird. It's funny. Like, yeah, you're laughing at it. Like, it, it could be a spiritual thing. If it keeps happening, go to the doctors. <laughs> if it happens when I get home, then I'll get to the doctors. But it's only happened here, and it's happened three or four times now. So what we're going to do, before we wrap up and go to bed, you know, it's very late. We would love it if the spirit... Or spirits could be could be many. Come and say good night to me and Jace. We're very drained, very tired. We just ask if you could gather a final bit of strength and give us some kind of activity. So me and Stephen have both done our long vigils in here. Stephen says that he didn't get much, maybe a little few knocks. And then I feel like I had someone sitting on the bed. Now, we've joined back up, we've asked a few questions, but there's something I'd like to ask you. Do you and your husband, well, ex-husband, the one who slept with your sister, still fight in the spirit world. Do you hate the fact that your pictures are next to each other? Could you give me a sign to tell me you are listening? Or let one of the pictures drop and whoever's drops loses. And you have to move on. <laughs>